Welcome back. In this chapter, we will try to focus on data spill. Data spill is a serious health problem for your Spark applications, your Spark jobs. And in this chapter, we will try to understand what is data spill, how do we detect data spill, how do we address data spill, what kind of problems it can cause, all those we will learn. But before we start learning those things, let me give you an introduction to data spill. So let's start with the introduction to data spill. So in this lecture, I want to address three questions. What is data spill? Why does a spill happen? And why a spill is bad? So let's try to understand what is data spill. I hope you are already understand how Spark processes data, right? So in Spark, each data partition is processed by one single CPU core. And that CPU core is also given some memory for doing the data processing or for processing the data partition. That CPU core can also access a local disk of the executor just in case if it is required. So let's assume we have one data partition and this data partition should be processed by this CPU core and we have some memory for this CPU core to do the data processing. But for processing this data partition, this data partition should be loaded into the memory first. Right? And once the data is in the memory, then only CPU can process that. But look at the diagram. We have a small memory and a larger data partition. Looking at the diagram, it clearly looks like that data partition is bigger than the memory. Is that a problem? No, not a big problem. Uh, what Spark will do? Spark will load this data like this. So that total partition is broken into maybe two chunks. A first chunk, whatever fits into the memory will go and sit into the memory. And the remaining part of the data partition, which doesn't fit into the memory, can be saved on the local disk of the executor. And this is what we call the data spill. Data does not fit into the memory. So Spark has to spill some part of the partition, some data from that partition to the local disk of the executor. And that's fine for now. So what a CPU will do, the CPU core will process this data, the first part, whatever is there in the memory. And once that is processed, it will again move it to disk and load whatever was there in the disk, whatever is not yet processed. And that uh, happens, that is also a spill, right? And then Spark will process this part and finish the complete processing of the partition. So that's how the entire data partition is processed, even if completely does not fit into the memory and that's perfectly fine that at least avoids you out of memory exception so i hope you understand answer to these two question what is data spill data spill is as simple as when a data partition does not completely fit into the memory a part of that partition is spilled to the disk right so that Spark can continue processing. And then once whatever is there in the memory is completed or is processed, then Spark will again swap it. Whatever is processed, move it to the disk and whatever is not processed, will bring it to the uh, memory for rest of the processing. That's what the spill is. Moving data from memory to disk, disk to memory, that is what we call data spill. Mm -hmm.